Hello, hello, hello. Are we recording? We are recording. Ooh. We are mighty, mighty, mighty something, right? We are... I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what we are looking at. Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Let's see the next couple days. Boy, I wanted to even shuffle weird. I don't, I don't typically do that. So, something new, maybe? I got sunshine on a rainy day. And it's a cloudy day when it's cold outside. I got the month of May. I don't know, I don't know. Joe Schmo. What do we got? 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 Let's do yesterday. Let's do yesterday and let's do yesterday in the next couple days. Yesterday. Yesterday. Knight of Swords, the world, seven of pence, four of swords. Contemplating where you're going to invest. No, it's almost like no looking back. Because you got this energy going this way. And then it's like, by the end of the night, or waking up today, it's like, <clears throat> as I say, a whole new world. It probably doesn't feel like a whole new world, but <clears throat> contemplation is deep. Let's do next couple days. Well, I want to see what this for. I want to see what it is you're contemplating for. So it's it, some of you are definitely resting, recouping. King of Pants, Queen of Cups, not really telling me in the wheel. There's there's definitely a change. So it's either change between the two of you or change between two people wanting to go in the same direction. You might not know who that is yet. It's funny, I looked at the bottom of the deck, you got the ace of pence creeping out with judgment. So there was definitely a judgment call already made here. Definitely going within. I just heard wildest dreams in your wildest dream. Miley Cyrus, maybe? Again, this would just be you and someone else. With the wheel. And the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's... There's change. There's new love. New contentment. New opportunities. You've made a decision. Let's look at the next couple days. If it's, if it's not the newness for everyone, it's self-love, self-nurturing, caring for yourself, nurturing your young. I wanted to say something with the wild. Three of Pence, Death Card, Strength Card. This is a tough transformation, but you're doing it. It doesn't feel like things around you are crashing down. 
But with the Three of Pentacles and the Death card, again, the Three of Pentacles, I almost feel like there could be um, a new contract here, or you ended a contract. But this is this is a transformation in being strong to see it through. It's the end of one thing, and it's it seems a little tough. You do have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck, so to me, you de you definitely made that judgment call. Seven of Cups with the Emperor. Options, leadership, being strategic. This could be work. And then you have the Fool. See what the death card is real quick. Two of pens, two of swords, page of cups. So yeah, something here wasn't cutting it. Too much indecisiveness, too much indecisiveness, juggling back and forth, getting the bare minimal. And you know what you're looking for. That was supposed to be at the bottom of the deck. So there's a little a little sorrow here, but coming a little disappointment, but coming out of it. What is this fool? There's a new start. There's a new opportunity. So you got a couple of new opportunities that are coming in, whether you feel it now or not, especially if you feel a little unsure. Two of cups, ten of pence. Holy shit. Three of Swords, Page of Pens, the Star. Nine of Swords, Six of Cups, Knight of Wands, King of Cups, Nine of Cups. You are definitely in for a whole, a whole ride here. Two of Cups leads to the Ten of Pence. Two of Cups led to the Ten of Pence. That's what I meant to say. but really ended in disappointment. Kind of stressed about certain things or certain dynamics or situations, children. I've just heard location. But you have an energy here that comes in and makes up for something. And I'm not talking like an old person and you're like oh it's it's not like no it is just it's fun so you could be down with a water sign because there is a new opportunity you have a couple new opportunities coming in Again, I, I feel like it's a, it's a tough go, but not a tough go, but not um nothing really you need to worry about is what I'm getting. I don't know what I was trying to say.
You also have energy here that thought you would always be around or be an option, that they can have you anytime they wanted you. They could have a new start. They can make up. They can apologize. They could say something like starry as if they can like hypnotize you. It is, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I definitely just picked up on that vibe too. So to me, it's that's a no go. I don't. That's I don't even know what the fuck that is or where that just came from. I think that's why I caught myself and I didn't really know what to say because the energy shifted. Um, but again, I really do feel like this is somebody who thought they could come in and just win you over. Like, hey, want to get a drink? Want to meet up? Like, it might even be something with. I don't. It's almost not even relevant. It's a little, um, it's a little disturbing the way somebody thought they could just come in and sweep you off your feet. I think this energy might come in the next couple days and try to attempt to sweep you off your feet. Temperance, Eight of Pence, Four of Cups, The Devil, King of Wands, King of Cups, Knight of Pence, Chariot, Five of Pence, Queen of Pence. It's, they're like, damn it, damn, I missed, you know, opportunity or is is somebody who really thought they could just sweep right back in with their charm and put work into sac into something, try to make something right. Tim, tell me about this temperance. To me, I feel like you're giving someone the cold shoulder here. Yeah, the Tower King of Swords, Nine of Pence. You're definitely giving someone a cold soldier, soul soldier, cold soldier, cold shoulder. And it's, it's almost like karmic justice. Lies, deception. You definitely freed yourself from a situation here. This is also the energy that really thought they could come in. Tell me about this tower. I don't know if they thought, they think they can come in and kind of destroy what you built or put you down or something they're watching with the ace of wands now this is somebody who thinks they can they can buy you over like almost like you're the queen of wands ew watch out for that one watch out for that one let's see this Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, um, Judgment just flew out. Let's see if that's, um, them thinking they can just, you know, like, hand you a fucking pastry and... No. No, that's good. Six of Pence. No, this is something that's gonna make you happy. I might have a little bit of a slow start, but that's a good thing. Something's manifesting. You might have a change of heart. This is not change of the heart in the opposite direction. This is something new that's going to make you happy, whether it's a person, a job, an animal, a friendship. So keep going in the direction you're going. Even if it's you telling yourself, I want new, I want this, taking care of yourself, even you nurturing yourself and, and taking care of yourself is causing a nice shift in dynamics here for you. Alright, I'm going to do another one with that deck, but I'm going to... I'm going to do uh, two separate videos for some reason. That is a little... 
bizarre. Hold on, they want me to throw three cards. Three card, three card shuffle. What is that? Three card shuffle. Do, do, do. You want to be a gangster. Something, something, something. I don't even know what that is. Holy shit. Three major arcana. Listen to the intuition. Keep, keep, um, nurturing your ideas. You're going to change your mind and you're going to be happy you did. Listen to your gut. I think you're having a, I don't think you're having a hard time listening. You might be, I don't think you're having a hard time listening to your gut. I think your gut is talking to you. And you know it. It's, it's a struggle, but not much of a struggle. And then I was like, let me just flip it. And I went like this ever so slowly. <laughs> it was the fucking magician. It's almost like I don't even want to throw another card. It's like, ah, holy shit, five major arcana. This is a massive transformation, troops. The, the way something is going to transform, you don't even see it happening. Holy shit. It, this is, I want to say, even destined. I don't even really feel like destined energy here, but you have five major arcana. Wow. With the ten of pence, something is transforming. You're transforming into something beautiful, solid. So again, the high priestess here is definitely listen to your gut. And I don't always read her like that, but it's it's strong. Like, your intuition, your gut is telling you something. You're taking care of yourself. If you're not, you're about to. You're nurturing your thoughts, your ideas. You're nurturing your intuition. You're seeing something differently. You can definitely manifest something. You, it could be some type of transition, but this to me is like going from the ace to the ten. What you're about to transform, whether it's your life, your long time stability, your work, your career. This doesn't seem like career, but it, it could be. Especially if you're holding on to something just for financial reasons, that could be over. And I know nobody likes that because, you know, especially with the job or career, it's like you still want to pay the bills. Even though, you know, you don't want to be there or whatnot, but duty call is going to pay the bills, right? Um, but I don't see it as you guys like really losing your job. I really see this as a huge transformation can't believe you have five major arcana and fives, you know, change. You go from the five to the ten. And then karmically, some people go to the ten to the five. Moving forward, five of wands. The Emperor still has that energy of the Seven of Cups. Strength card, Six of Pence. You're going towards some type of reciprocity. It really, uh, it looks nice. Might be a little intimidating. But the devil to the sun is intimidation, though. But this is something that can definitely um, you might want to follow your temptation here, whatever this is. To be honest with you, because it's it's solid. Even if for some of you you're like, oh, I don't want to fraternize or whatnot, but then you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna date my boss anyway. It looks like that might really work out for you. And then you can figure out the rest later, if that makes sense for whoever that message is for. All right, I'll be back. Love you guys. Bye. Where's my little mouse?